What's up everyone, welcome back. Finally time for another video. It almost got ruined by the weather because this California weather has been insane these last couple weeks. And anything has happened this week. It's hailed, almost snowed, raining 24 seven. It was sunny this morning when I came out and I started setting up for the video, getting ready to wash the car and test out this product I just got sent. Then it started raining out of nowhere for about a good hour or two. We're back on track now, waited until it dried up and everything. And now we're gonna wash the car and test out this new product that I just got sent. Got this package from Shine Armor. They sent me this ceramic spray, ceramic graphene spray to test out and give an honest review on. And I also picked up, just to do a little battle of the ceramic wax, I picked up this Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax, top leading brand versus the Shine Armor brand. Let's see how they do against each other. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and wash the uh, GR86 before we test it out. I haven't given this car a real hand wash by me. Um, ever honestly i've always just taken it through the cruise through because i drive it every day it gets dirty today i'm using my snow foam cannon haven't used it in a long ass time because all i ever wash by hand is the rcf and i can't even use it but i'm gonna go ahead and get off that daily street grime off the 86 never done it myself so i'm gonna give it a nice clean scrub today Just my freaking luck guys, as I'm finishing up, wiping down all the soap and everything, it starts raining again. Even though it was only supposed to rain for about 30 minutes to an hour today, like I said, weather's bipolar, it's raining again. And I don't know when it's gonna stop, so I'm gonna finish washing up the car, rinsing it off, and I'll dry it off inside the garage and film the rest of the video in there. All right, so I got the car in the garage, just a quick, demonstration for people who don't know what ceramic does see how the water is still just sitting here on the car it should be rolling right off like that but without a compressor when you have your whole car ceramic loaded i just got the rcf redone last week on monday uh, you're supposed to get it done once a year depending on what kind of coating you use so now when i wash the rcf it bounces right off the water beads up and it just slides right off this everywhere so I gotta go around blow it with the compressor just to save myself towels and then dry it off with a regular towel if you have ceramic coating you can use one drying microfiber towel if it's a really good brand and it'll dry your entire car some people say they can dry their car with a good towel even without ceramic coating I doubt it I've tried multiple towels never been able to do it with one towel um, but with ceramic coating I know it's possible done before so here's the result I always get every time I dry a car with one microfiber towel to the eye on camera, it looks dry, beautiful, but it's not. I mean, you got water streaks all over, so it's not 100% dry, but you can get a majority of the water with one towel. So now I'm about to go back with my second towel, brand new, I tear the tag off and dry the rest of it. All right, guys, got her all cleaned up. She's dried up. Look at them both sparkling in the garage light right now. Got my station set up. So I'm gonna be testing the Shine Armor Graphene Ceramic Spray against the Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax and see which one has better water beating and water resistancy or whatever, whatever it's called. So I'm gonna try it right here on the side of the car where the water can actually bounce off. I got my bottle of water to test it out. Let's see how this does. All right guys, so I got my little station set up. Got Shine Armor on this side, Meguiar's on this side. So for the Shine Armor, it tells you the directions right here on the right. Uh, you're just gonna spray it into the microfiber towel Wipe the product onto the paint, allowing the surface to be fully covered, and then allow it one to two minutes to cure. Buff it out with a dry microfiber towel, and then wait four hours before taking the car outside. So, I mean, I am gonna test it. I'm not gonna wait four hours to test it. It just said exposed to the elements, so should be good to test it out right now. All right, so while we wait for this, we're supposed to wait one to two minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Meguiar's on this side and that should be enough time for it to cure. So for the Meguiar's one, it's a little different with the application. You're supposed to do it while the car was still wet. I did not know that. 
Um, I think it's just this one, the hybrid ceramic wax. Every single one has a, a different way to apply it. This one says right there, wax as you rinse. So while the car was wet, I was supposed to put it on. It says two to three light sprays per panel. And then you just wipe it down and let it dry with the car while you're drying it. But should still work with this effect. I'm gonna go ahead and just wet it, the car with the water bottle right now. Put one spray right here and then dry it off. Actually, since my drying towel is still soaking wet, I'm just gonna use that to wipe down the surface, get it all wet right there. Can't really see, but get it wet. Throw that towel on the ground. Put one spray of the McGuire's right, right there. Oh, that's a little bit too much. And rinse it off. Hopefully I did that right. It's a little kind of confusing. I'm not sure if I was supposed to let it sit or not. All right, guys. So it's been about two, three, four minutes on that side, about a minute or two on this side. So first test, initially to my just touch right here, my fingers kind of stick and drag along the car. With the Shine Armor, it's actually really slippery. Uh, kind of a little more than the Meguiar's one. Meguiar's, my fingers are still sticking to the car a little bit. Right here, they're just kind of gliding across Yeah, it's still a little sticky right here. Gliding right here, a lot more oily and more waxy, wax type product on that. Time for the real test, what it's made for, water. Let's see which one beads and which one doesn't. So, still got some water on there. On that one. Same thing, water is not completely stuck to it. Now let's see if it is just because we're on a slanted surface and what the regular car does. Yeah, see with the regular car, you can't really tell, um, but well, yeah, you kind of can't see. The puddle starts right about here and puddles up all the way to where the tape's at. Over here, you just have one really thin stream which the rest of it just bounced right off and slid off. Over here, you have a couple more streams. So I think I'm gonna have to give it to the Meguiar's on this one. I mean, Shine Armor did good. It's not like it didn't work, but see, it just slides right off and you get one small little stream, which if you're gonna go back with your drying microfiber towel, you'll pick it up really easily. On this one, same thing. So they both work perfectly fine. Uh, Meguiar's a little bit more edge, not gonna lie. The Shine Armor is still good. I'm still willing to, to use that product. All right, so second test, I'm gonna do it on a flat surface. Once again, same steps. All right, it's been about two minutes now, so let's give it a good wipe, get rid of any residue. So once again, Shine Graphene Ceramic Spray, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. Pretty much the same product. Let's see how it does on a flat surface. Pretty good, pretty good. Compared to the Meguiar's. See, that's what ceramic does. That beading where the water just gets into a big ball and just slides. See how it's not sticking? It's just balling up. So we'll start from up here. Yeah, Meguiar's is gonna take the win. Even with a sponsorship, I will not lie in my reviews, Meguiar's clearly takes the win because that is what you're looking for in a ceramic spray, ceramic wax, ceramic coating, whatever it is ceramic, the water should beat up like that. If it's not, then the product's not worth it. It is kind of beating here, but that's just a puddle. That's not really beating. So you can't, I can't give it to Shine Armor on this. I think Meguiar's is the edge. All right guys, so that's all the tests I have to run. Um, I'm gonna bring it down to the final review now. Down to quality, reliability, and of course the main thing that everyone always wants to know, price. So first of all, quality, 
I mean, the Shine Armor had a good quality. It wasn't a bad product at all or anything, but with other things out there that, I mean, Meguiar's is the most known brand out there. Meguiar's Chemical Guys and Adams Polishes, top three brands out there. Um, I would definitely still stick with Meguiar's, especially since they have three different types of ceramic sprays. They have that one that I tried, they have the regular one, uh, they have an actual cer full ceramic wax, that was the hybrid one. Um, that was supposed to be meant to be while the car is still wet, and it's still, with me just wetting the car a little bit, still beaded up the water and worked pretty good. Um, it's more of a over and over again use application. It's not a one-time thing like a ceramic coating. Ceramic coatings come in tiny little jars, it's like an oil, you put it on a pad and you slowly wipe it on the whole car and then buff it out. It works amazing. If you ever get your car coated, if you have a local detailer or anybody, get that done. It's completely worth it. So that's what I gotta say for quality. So reliability kind of factors into the same thing with quality. Um, if it's not good quality, it's not gonna be reliable. Shine Armor worked on one panel, didn't work well on the other panel. So I would say Meguiar's also takes the reliability factor on that one. Uh, something that's just gonna consistently always work with the car. Um, you don't have to worry about where you're using it on or how you're using it. It just, it's a good product and it works. So I would definitely give it to Meguiar's on that one as well. Once again, Shine Armor is a good product, but with reliability, I'm not gonna give them any pluses there. It didn't work consistently, so it's not really reliable. And down to the final and main thing that everybody wants to know. So Shine Armor gave me a free eight ounce bottle. I was happy with that because it was free. Till I looked up the price right now, it's a $40 bottle and it's only eight ounces. Um, that's a little too expensive for a ceramic spray. I mean, for ceramic coating, that's different, but for a ceramic spray, it should be a little bit on the cheaper side. Meguiar's on the other hand, that was a 28 ounce bottle and you could use it multiple times, probably more than 10, 15, 20 times without it finishing. That was only 15 bucks from AutoZone and we all know AutoZone's not the cheapest. And online, Walmart is 17 bucks, so you're always looking at 15, 17 bucks for a 28 or 24 ounce bottle compared to Shine Armor, which was only eight ounces. That thing was gonna go by quick. Um, so definitely way too pricey for just a ceramic spray. Other than that, I mean, it really only has, Shine Armor only really has the quality side. Um, it was a good quality, it did work. It wasn't consistent though, so it didn't work the right way. Final rating for Shine Armor, even though they're offering me a sponsorship and everything, I gotta keep it honest. I don't care about the sponsorship or any of that. Um, Shine Armor is like a one and a half out of five. It's not a great product. Uh, it works, but it's just, it's not, you can't even say, oh, it works and it's cheap. It works and it's expensive. So I don't see the point in going with it over the leading brands. Also guys, that is only my rating on the ceramic spray only. I mean, Shine Armor has a lot of different products. Ceramic sprays are one of the hardest and pickiest products for most people, including me. It needs to be a top quality product that works every time. Um, Cause I mean, that's what people will get it for. They, they really count on it to beat up the water and just make the water bounce off the car so you don't have to dry it off too much. Um, so that's only my review on the, on the ceramic spray. I've seen their other products in use on some other review videos and it looked like they worked pretty good. So make, make your own assessment and check out their other products. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate you checking out the video. I do have two videos planned to come out next week. Uh, another review on the 86, my six month review now. Um, and also I just picked up some tint from Omnique Tints. It's that reflective, I got the silver one. They have a bunch of different colors. I got the uh, Neo Silver Reflective Tint. I'm gonna try it on the 86 because I had to remove the tint. I got a freaking ticket right outside my house. So I have to take that tint off instead of paying a $450 ticket. Uh, so now I'm gonna put the Neo Silver Reflective Tint and see how that comes out. Make sure to stick around and see that, and I'll see you guys next time.